Happy Wednesday. Uh, woods and metals. Here's what you're going to be working on today. I want you to choose one of the careers you uh, picked out. Um, you, you looked into 10 different careers. You should have looked into 10 different careers. You listed the salary and then you posted a job listing, you know, URL for those uh, careers that you chose. From those 10, choose one. One that you're like, hey, this is what I think I want to try or this is, this is what really interests me. What is it? Choose that one and then we're going to start working toward applying for a job in that field. The first step is going to be an actual cover letter. Uh, when you make an application or you apply for an actual career, not a job, not a McDonald's or anything that's you know hourly, we're talking something that you can retire from if all goes as planned. Uh, typically, the hiring process is not just an interview. They want to know more. They want a cover letter. Why, why should we even bring you in for an interview? Uh, a cover letter and a resume are going to be the first things that basically get you an interview. Then, once you get an interview, then it's up to you to really shine. But we're not even that far yet. The first thing is going to be that cover letter. So cover letters just basically say, you know, to whom it may concern. Or if you know who the HR person is, you know, dear Mrs. Smith, uh, director of HR for ABC Company. And then they basically state a little bit about yourself. Uh, they don't want to know that you have three cats named, you know, any Miney, and Mo. They, they want to know... You know a little bit about you uh, i'm an avid you know woodworker uh i grew up you know my dad was a carpenter or something like that um and you know things like you should never say in your especially since you know in this theory you're basically graduated high school or college whatever it may be um the term experienced no you're not experienced at all you don't know what you're doing but you can talk about you know experiences you've had so far but don't use the word experienced if you had 20 years in the field you could say you have experience um so i'm going to provide a link uh it's a great link that goes through and gives an example of a cover letter you're going to have to read it you're going to have to go read through it and look at what a cover letter is in keyword it's a letter it's not one or two sentences it's a letter it is a full page of writing I'm going to give you the rest of the week to work on this. No spelling errors. And remember, it's in a letter format. If you've never written a letter, take a look at the samples that are provided. And you can Google, you know, example cover letters and see. But the website I'm going to provide basically does a nice rundown of what a cover letter should have. So you're applying for a hypothetical position um, in that career fear that you chose out of the 10. Uh, Mr. McMahon, do you want me to give like a company name or something? You can make up, you know, the company. I, you can address it to, you know, like Mr. Smith at ABC Welding or Mr., you know, Johnson at, I don't know, McMullen Wood Working Corporation, 123 Fake Street, Clio, Michigan. That's something you can make up. But the actual letter, like, what makes you a good candidate? What makes you a good fit? Why should I even bring you in for an interview? So take a look at that website. That's what you're going to be working on for the next few days. Uh, I'll post another video tomorrow, uh, which hopefully will give you a little bit more insight to this. But the first thing you need to do is take and click on the link I provide in Classwork and or in Classroom, the streaming and Classwork. And that should uh, give you enough information to get started. You can do this. You've had English. You can do this. All right. Have a good day.